Mark, congratulations. Two podiums, actually superb day from where I'm standing. Yeah, it was. It's, um, <laughs> it's been a day, to be honest, yes, with the you. team and the effort and the pit stop. You and the, yeah. uh, to come here and be competitive today, it's like I said before, it was a dream. I didn't want to leave this place last time in the ambulance. So we had to, we had to get out for today. Um, and to do what we've done today, I thought I was going to come here and just ride around at the back and not be competitive with the car and myself. So to do this today is special. It was a real great send-off on it, both races. Yeah, exactly. I think both races, the crowd enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it'd be the last you see of us. That's good news, mate. We look forward to seeing you at Pembrey as well. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers, Thanks Mark. Well great thank, you. thank you. Dale, fantastic way to, to end for you, a podium here at Rockingham, particularly after race one. Yeah, no, after a race one, yeah. I was, I was gutted after race one. I was frustrated. I wished for a caution, but I, I was confident in the car, the setup we had in it, and just down to Dave Longhurst and that. A fantastic job getting that hooked up for us. And, and the team, and on the pit stop, what the boys did on the pit stop. I was watching them practice beforehand, and I was like, oh, man, we need to be a bit quicker at this, but they pulled it out the bag when they needed to. And uh, it was brilliant. I'm well pleased with it. It's just a shame this place is finishing. Um, being a rookie for my first year, I'm glad I got to do it. But maybe one day if it happens, I doubt it. But we can always hope it come back again here. But we, we never know, do we? It may well come back. But you must be dead chuffed. I mean, just a handful of races this year, and to wind up with a podium, it's not the easiest of disciplines, is it? No, my first time round here, I was, I was kicking myself a little bit. I felt like I should have took more chances, but I was too just conservative on it. Really, which say just wouldn't push I was like I, and I kicked myself ever since and then when we come back here for the second time I pushed we got to the lead but then ended up getting tagged and spinning there so and then we had issues for the second race so we didn't really do anything and it was this last one here I was like we've got to go for this we've got to push it out and yeah we've done it I'm happy pleased well pleased and the traditional pickup celebrations I reckon you were probably the king of the donuts out there <laughs> I, was, I was pretty I was giving it a good go and I was going to burn them up so I didn't, but yeah, no, I, I like to see some of the videos of that, see what it's like. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic from where we were. Thanks for changing us. Well done on the podium. Great to see and we'll see you at Pembroke. Thank you very much. Cheers. Paul, oh, what an absolutely amazing day here at Rocking. Congratulations on the uh, trophy winning the first one and the dash for cash as well. What a send off for this place. Yeah, it's just a shame it's the last race. We, we seem to have got everything together and now we ain't coming back. So, lovely way to finish here. I couldn't, couldn't be happier, to be fair. This track is what these pickups are about. And to come out, my first race ever here I won, and my last race is ever here I've won. So, yeah, I couldn't be happy. That's not too bad, is it? Going back to the race itself, you know, Scott came out of the pit stops some way ahead, and we were watching there from the stand thinking, they're catching him, they're catching him. Not only did you do that, but you pulled away from the other guys as well. Yeah, I don't know really what happened. I'd like I must have pulled 20 car lengths from them, and it's like an hurdle. But the, the, the car was just, it was on it. Um, Malcolm Blackman definitely knows what he's at, and that's all I can say, because that car, I could not all day fault that car. But in the first race, it was a little bit, had a little thing wrong with it, and I said to Malcolm, and he told me one little thing to do, and it transformed it. So, do you know what? We used to come here every meeting on and off the scales with these cars. Now we take them out of the garage, look at them all weekend, race them, put them back in the lorry and go home. What more could you want to do? That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? And uh, I guess a shout out to the, the pit crew who got you turned around with those tyre changes as well. That was great entertainment and they did you proud. Without those pit crew, without the people that out, you, we wouldn't be here. Or we would, we probably would be here, but we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. Because there's so much work with these behind the scenes people just don't see but yeah you've got to take your hands out of the wood because they all work hard really hard and, you know like, look at mark willis seven weeks ago he got took away from here in an ambulance and his car was white off he's back here that's that's dedication it's proper racing um super send off for the rock Hopefully it ain't the last of this type of racing. We look forward to more oval racing and of course the road racing for the end of the year. But Paul Tompkins, many congratulations on the double. Thank you very much.